Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Uh, after this um, TT review, I should have reviews for a couple of other cards. I did like King, I did um, Alexander Izak and those types of guys as well. So yeah, I've been just spreading out the review days because I used to do like 10 in a day and that used to burn me out completely for the other day. So um, with SBC MTT, we had to check out Leche. I think it's Leche. Is that how you say that team's name? Um, six foot tall, low high work rates, left footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. Him being left footed is a big deal because if you're playing that in the left center back position or a left center back in a four back or a left center back in a three back, that's really cool to work with. So let's see player traits, injury prone engine. Okay. Okay. So he's, he's actually well formatted because I was concerned about the pace. I was like, mm, the pace is not going to be in a good area. Is it? Okay. So Samuel MTT, well, he's not on footbin just yet, but on a shadow chemistry style, he is going to be a lengthy player. He has, he's going to have good defensive stats. He's going to have good physical stats. The base card stats that you want to be improved in the most is going to be in the dribbling and the pace department, because on the shadow, he's going to have good defense, going to have good pace. He's going to be that lengthy. So 88 to 90 for now. And then in the future, it could be improved. He's got a 95 for shot power, which... Could go hand in hand with the heading, I guess, right? The headers could probably be really crazy on him. Um, passing on the cards in a good area as well. So if I want to use that in the left center back area in the future, if they improve the pace, unless his body type works well with the pace on the lengthy, we'll see, right? Um, dribbling, agility, balance, low, dribbling, low, 85 for reactions, 84 for composure. So that area, again, is an area that you want to be improved in the most. Um with the improvements in the future. Defensive stats, like I said, on a shadow will be in a good area. You could see here on a shadow chemistry style, 88 acceleration, 90 for sprint speed. Defensive stats will be in a good area with good physical capabilities, right? So uh, let me go ahead and complete the SBC. I'm probably gonna be trying him out in a three back left center back area as well as the middle. So I can kind of try him out in both. <sighs> Honestly, I really need to replace this Kim, uh, Kim and J card. Like I said, this, this account is mostly just like the first owner cards. You know what's funny? This card's actually getting upgraded. <laughs> I just took that in. Oh, that is good. What else do I have here? Tanali. I will put El Shirawe there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I did need a left-footed uh, center back from the Serie A because Radu's card, it's okay, but wasn't like crazy special. This card has more potential with the upgrades that he can get, and I don't have a shadow, so... Okay, so since this is a defender review, uh, we do have the three back formation. We can try him out playing through the middle, and then we can try him out. We'll just switch between these two different positions here. The rest of the team, honestly, we can we can line it up like this. Not really a big deal. Okay, so that's gonna be attacking. Cool. All right, let's go try him out. Nice. So he's marking that guy the entire time, and now I can go in for. A left footed challenge. That's why, like, like I said, when you're in that area, it's nice to have strong foot on the strong side. So him being left footed is a pretty big deal for that type of thing. I'm going to slow down and now I'm going to catch up. Okay. So he was kind of like in line there, right? Uh, you could definitely tell that you want a little bit of extra pace on the card for sure, but obviously that's me over committing like an idiot also doing it there as well. So um, he's kind of in line there with Mars. If you're up against like an Mbappe and stuff, like Mbappe's going to dust him for sure um, if you're over committed a little bit too much. But again, it's a card that can upgrade, so you have to be mindful of that. Transition speed wasn't actually bad there. That was actually nice. Okay, yeah, I wanted to see what it was like manually defending there. I'm gonna switch off here. He goes back into position quick enough. Yeah, well positioned for the aggressive interception. Yeah, transition speed is nice. I don't mind it. Just a stop there as well. Yeah, that's good. So body type with the transition, no problem with that whatsoever. It's not super heavy with the card. It's actually really nice. Try to block out that area there. Maybe if he was a little bit taller, you actually would, but you know how the outside foot shot is from outside the 18. I'll trigger, there we go, nice. That's the one, there we go. Now this is normal defending. 
Yeah, so just a slow down, push forward again, not bad. Nice pass with the weak foot. I was about to say weak foot with the strong foot. De Cataler. Nice. I'll trigger. Goes in with the weak foot there. There you go. Yeah, it goes in with the strong foot again there. Some good stuff. Okay, goes with the weak foot there as well. I just had to hold that area there. Okay, so just ignore the goals. Uh, we were just doing the upload for the new player pick SBC. So, mobby, mobby. Make that pass. That's the one I want. I'll trigger. Hold that area. Yep, there it is. I definitely want more of a pace boost and dribbling boost as well. I feel like that's definitely going to be a very helpful thing to work with for him. Nice challenge with the weak foot. Oh, that's a good one, actually. There we go. Okay. So you can tell that his pace is like, it's decent enough for sure. The length is definitely going to push him really nicely. But having that extra for the upgrade is definitely going to be a very helpful thing if they end up giving it to him. Hmm, unlucky. So the guy goes for a finesse shot. He does go for an animation, to be fair. Nice. That was actually me doing the slide challenge as well. That was actually nice. He aggressively intercepted that. I wasn't even using second man press or anything like that. Yeah, so I just wanted to kind of like slow him down constantly uh, to see how fast he would still track back. Obviously, with the lengthy accelerate, if you overcommit him, he'll still track back pretty quickly. De Ketelare! Just for fun, just for fun. Nice, just had to hold the L trigger there. Yeah, you select him, let go of him, tracks back pretty quickly, starts marking other players fast. So that's a good situation there where you, you could see me select him, but me wanting that little bit of extra pace and dribbling stat. Like you, you want that for for it to work out well for the lengthy. That guy just towered him, but it is Dick Hitelada, so you know. Passes the ball well on that left foot's nice. First time. Ooh, look at that. Let me switch to Chris Molly here. Let him do his thing. Just switch to him and we're good. Cool. A lot of potential with this guy. Yeah. Uh, he has like the right base stuff, right? Like the way that he tracks back very, very quickly on that lengthy is sick. I'm probably not going to get that either. Let's be real. But yeah, that positioning is not great. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. But the track back's good. Back in position already. That's a manual challenge by me. Nice. All right. So we have to uh, remember some things here when it comes to this car, the potential upgrades that he can get. Okay. So player makes three appearances in the next six games. So let's ch check out the Leche games. Um... Starting lineup, he is pretty consistent. He did play in the last game. He played in Leche is this one. He did not play the game before that one. But it depends on whether or not he was actually injured, right? And he didn't play in the game before that one either. Maybe he was injured against Roma. What about Roma? Okay, he did play in the Roma game. So that's what? Two he has to play three in the next six. That one's possible. He did play in the Inter Milan game. Yeah, the Inter Milan game he did start, which was the last one. So three out of six can definitely be possible, I think. 
Uh, for defenders and goal carriers, players, a uh, player keeps two clean sheets in the next six games. In the next six games. So Fiorentina, probably not. Empoli. Empoli, yeah, maybe they can keep a clean sheet against them. Napoli, I highly doubt, even though, you know, never know what happens in football. I think three. I think two is possible. What about Sampdoria? Sampdoria is not too crazy, right? Sampdoria is in last place. And it's just two of them? Two clean sheets in the next six games? Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. I think he could definitely do the first two. And that's that would be two upgrades. Club wins one game in the next six. That can definitely happen as well. And then club avoids defeat in the next six. That's not going to happen. If, if Lecce avoids defeat in the next six games, that's FIFA voodoo right there, okay? So we're essentially... I wouldn't say guaranteed because the way that he's starting is kind of weird, but I would say he's going to at least get two upgrades, right? And if we take a look at the card with the two upgrades on a shadow chemistry style, um, what I'm thinking is maybe they do like a plus three or four for acceleration and sprint speed with those two upgrades and then a three and four in the dribbling department. And then if he gets the upgrade on top of that while boosting the physical stats, you can't really go wrong with this card at 117k. As of right now, it's a decent card to use, right? Especially since he is a left-footed player while being French. But you know what this card kind of... You know what vibes he kind of gives me? Do you guys remember the Medina card? Medina, right? So Medina was a card that was released, I think, last year. So Medina... Um, yeah, so it was this card right here. He kind of gives me Medina vibes a little bit, right? Because Medina... Um, at first, I, I forget what it was. I think it was like, like he was okay. But once he got the upgrades, he did become significantly better, right? And obviously that SPC was 227k at the time. Uh, reason being for that is because I think it's the same team as Fofana, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but with MTT, it's a little bit different. I think the price value of the SPC is incredibly fair for a card that is left-footed, Syria and French. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people may not use him right now. Some people will because of the fact that he's a left-footed player playing that center-back position because he's actually pretty decent, right, as of right now because he has the right defensive stats on the shadow chemistry style. But it's just for the meta of the game, you want that little bit of extra pace and dribbling. On this card specifically, you definitely feel it in certain situations. Like I showed you guys in those two different occurrences where one is against the Buchagueno and the other one's against Mares. Obviously, if you're up against like Mbappes and stuff, that's where they're going to absolutely dust you. So, But like I said, I feel like there's definitely essentially a guarantee for two upgrades at least right and if he does get those two upgrades then the price of the SBC is going to be incredibly fair value for what he's going to offer you in your team for chemistry links as well as him being a left-footed center back so i don't mind the price of the SBC personally but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys